stop using the button tool, use the button bar tool instead if you're a FileMaker developer. I am Matt Navarre. Welcome to the FileMaker opinion page. What we're talking about here is my strong opinion that a single segment button bar is better than the button. Let's take a look. So the button tool, as we know, we click this guy and we get a very simple object. All we can do is type text and we get very limited controls of what it can do. The button bar tool, if we grab it, it automatically makes one with three segments. The first thing that I do is I delete two of the segments and then put whatever text I'm going to use and convert. Obviously, we have a lot of other formats. Active segment, we can convert it from a button to a popover um, and back. And the biggest one we'll come to in a minute, calculations. Okay, let's take a look at the reasons why. One, I believe if you think about it like a carpenter and it works for FileMaker, a smaller tool set is better. If you think about the tools you have to carry around every day, if you have more expertise on a smaller number of better constructed tools, you're gonna to be better at your job. There isn't a single thing that the button tool does that the button bar does not. And for me, that makes it no reason at all to ever use the button kind of by itself. We'll come up to more of those reasons that by itself are good. In way back in 1995, the button tool was introduced. Before that, the button, to make a button in FileMaker, it was just a text object with style, and then you attached an action to it. So there was, and that was completely replaced. Nobody would argue with using it the old way. I believe we've reached that, I believe we reached that mark again quite a while ago because the button bar tool came out uh, quite a while ago in FileMaker 14. Reason two, my favorite feature of the button bar by far is that it is a layout calculation widget. So if we go and we make a button, we get no features, but as I talked about a minute ago on a button bar, you can put in a calculation and you can have whatever you want uh, on the button bar. Complete flexibility, multi-language support. I use this every day, all day. Another thing I love about it is that it supports formatting. So here I have a single segment button bar that has style and color and whatnot. And then here I have one that has a calculation in it that supports changing the font, size, color, etc. Love that feature. Okay, the button, the new feature that we have um, for inserting a layout calculation is great. Um, and it actually comes up with one thing that I really like that you cannot do with a button bar, and that is um, formatting. So a button bar tool um, does not support uh, formatting. And so if you have a dollar amount or something like that, you have to do extra work. The layout calculation does. So you can actually format something as, uh, as decimal or currency, for example. So a little tip on that, which is something I like about the new layout calculation widget. But if you have a layout calculation widget, uh, sorry, the layout um, new layout calculation uh, feature, and you change the field name, it will break. So it's more brittle, uh, despite that flexibility for um, formatting of data. Okay, reason three. The button bar is future-proof. At some point, when you make a button of whatever type, at some point in the future, you're probably going to want to change its, its functionality. You're going to want to have another button next to it, or you're going to want to make the text to be a calculation instead of just plain text. So you're being kind to your future self. The steps to convert a button, if you have built it in your solution, you make a super simple thing. You decide later to convert it to a button bar. You have to create a new button bar, attach whatever script was attached to the button and reapply everything, styles, visibility, formatting, tooltips, blah, blah, blah. Then after you test everything, delete your button. That takes a few minutes. If you just make a button bar at the beginning, you save yourself time. Am I recommending that you go into your solutions and replace every single button tool with a button bar? No, but every single time you encounter a button, 
convert it to a button bar and take a few minutes to do that. I do, I do that in my solutions. Reason four, themes and styles. So in Apex Blue, which should be the starting uh, theme for pretty much any solution you do right now, customize that one and make your own. Only five of the styles between the button tool and the button bar tool match exactly, and 16 of the styles do not. So this means conversion between a button and a button bar. You don't really get the same look and feel. I don't know why, but you don't. So why maintain two groups? So what I do in my solutions is um, in the button tool, um, I actually just delete all my all my uh, styles. So I don't have any styles for a button tool. I only maintain them for a button bar, which gives me much better consistency and less uh, less to control and less to have to maintain in a solution. That's a big thing for me. Okay. So downsides. What are the potential downsides? There's two extra clicks, a couple of extra microseconds to make a single segment button bar. Milliseconds lost, hours gained. The weight. So the button bar object has more CSS to get all these features. So when you add one to the layout, theoretically the layout has more text on it. But if you delete all the styles, as I showed on the last uh, reason, then you actually have less weight in your whole theme. So kind of a trade-off. In summary, be kind to your future self. Use button bars only ever always. Thanks very much for listening.